Good day everyone, this is mission 13 of Sniper Elite 5 and what we're doing here, we're going to show numerous ways or different ways to destroy an enemy tank. Now it doesn't have to be just limited to mission 13, pretty much I'm just using this as an example because where you start the mission there's a tank nearby, pretty much any mission has a tank in it, you can do these uh, particular maneuvers or particular ways to take it out. Now just a few things to highlight while we approach the tank is that the tank is pretty much the most powerful vehicle weapon the enemy has against you in the game. Um, it's heavily armored especially on the front and the side. But on the back it has a weak spot. Uh, between the two exhausts you can actually destroy uh, the weak spot there and it exposes um, the engine once you do so. It actually makes a little hole in there so you can expose the engine uh, by using armor piercing rounds or explosives to do so. Uh, so in this uh, video we're showing different ways you can actually uh, expose the engine and also take out the tank as well in spectacular fashion. In this particular instance first of all we're going to use armor piercing rounds to destroy the weak spot and then destroy the tank by using a Panzerfaust onto the engine. Okay so you can probably just see the tank ahead of us there. Uh, got a couple of enemies in front of us as well to deal with but in this uh, mission there's a Panzerfaust in this AA installation. Uh, so we're gonna try and sneak our way in to grab it. Any aircraft guns? They must be what took out our flyboys. I should deal with them. Okay, nice quick work on these two guys. Okay, grab the Panzerfaust. So now we're off to the races to catch up with the tank. As you can see in the background there. So the plan is here is to um, pretty much drop the Panzerfaust, use armor piercing rounds in the sniper rifle to expose the engine block and then pick up the Panzerfaust again to take it out. Okay, there it is. Kind of destroyed the weak spot. And nicely done with a Panzerfaust. Okay, but Pretty much in most instances, you're not going to be have access to a Panzerfaust to take a tank, so we're going to show another way to do so. Now this time, you can actually use just pretty much armor-piercing rounds to destroy the tank um, in four shots, especially with the M1903 sniper rifle. Uh, two shots to take out the weak spot, and then two more shots to destroy the engine. But in this instance, um, we're going to go through this side of the map. I actually want the tank to uh, approach on this side first of all, so it's going to take some time. And in doing so, I'm uh, just going to go and clean up this area of the map first of all. Uh, we took out this guy on the bridge, for a guy pretty much gets uh, taken out every single time. And then there's two more guys over here to the left. Okay, here's the first guy. And there should be one more guy in the um this destroyed building of some sort. Okay, so take some time for the tent to appear, but what we do, we grab these grenades and satchel charge. I'll actually use them in the next demonstration of how to take out the tank, but uh yeah, it, since the tank is gonna come down the road towards us, uh we don't want to be in front of it. Uh, there's a heavy machine gun on the front of the tank, so that's definitely not something you want to encounter. We just want to kind of like maneuver ourselves to hook around the back of the tank, and then uh, we get in position to shoot out the weak spot with a sniper rifle. Okay, there you can see the tank crossing over a bridge, and here you can actually go underneath the bridge yourself. Okay, so changing over to armor piercing rounds. Now, as I said, four shots to fully destroy the tank with the M1903 sniper rifle. Just waiting for it to get a bit further down the road. Okay. One more. There you go. So that's probably one of the easiest ways to take out a tank using armor piercing rounds from a sniper rifle because they're quite powerful especially from the sniper rifle itself. 
But uh, what if you don't have access to a sniper rifle with armor-piercing rounds or any armor-piercing rounds to begin with? So um, once again, from this little hut, we picked up the satchel charge, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay down a landmine on the road. Uh, that would actually take out the tracks of the tank and um, immobilize it, so therefore it won't move. And then we'll sneak up behind it and use a satchel charge to uh, destroy the weak spot and expose the engine. Okay, so, so yeah, once again, we're waiting for the tank to go over this bridge. I thought for some reason it saw me here, but uh, it didn't, so... Okay, so I'm just changing over to my secondary weapon, which is the MP44. Now I just gotta wait for the tank to drive over that landmine, or the telemine. There, okay, so it's immobilized. And I don't know if it's using an aimbot or not, but I thought it was looking at me, but I guess it's just coincidence. Okay, so now I'm going to sneak up behind it to put a satchel charge on the back. You can see there's an outline for a satchel charge right there. Um, take note is that for some reason, oh, the tank can actually hear you if you run up behind it, or someone, whoever's inside of it can hear you. So just sneak up stealthily if you can. Okay, so I put a satchel charge there, and walking back, or sneaking back. I actually put the um, slow fuse on the satchel charge, just uh, don't want to blow myself up if for some reason anything happens. But anyway, after it blows up the hole, or makes a hole in the back of the tank, I use a grenade, and then shoot at the engine as well to take it out. Now, might not be as powerful as a sniper rifle, but it does the trick. Okay, so there we go, we've opened up the back, you can see a little hole there. So using a mixture of, of explosives and bullets to destroy the engine. Oh, okay, it's uh, looking this way. Okay, stick a grenade onto the engine. And then we shoot it with normal bullets from the MP44. Okay, quickly before it takes an aim and shoots at me. And done. Okay. That's kind of close. By the way, just to wrap things up. So there's numerous ways to take out a tank. Best thing, first of all, is to hit the weak spot at the back of it between the two exhausts with armor-piercing rounds or explosives. And then one that makes a hole, you can actually see the engine inside of it. So destroy the engine, you know, with more armor-piercing rounds or more bullets or some other explosives as well. So you could either use, you know, grenades or Panzerfaust as we showed you right there but uh so hopefully that helped you guys out thanks for watching happy sniping